Hey guys, Dave coming at you today with another knife review. Today we are talking about the Max Ace Samurai version 2.0. Picked this one up recently here. You can get them direct from Max Ace. They, uh, they're going to run you about 88 bucks. This one shown here is in the canvas micarta. Kind of great outliners. Satin finish blade. Blade does come in Bowler K110, which is very similar to your, your standard D2. It's a good working steel. It can take some, uh, some color and some rust on if you're not careful with it. They are also going to have a white G10 version, and it's going to feature blue liners on that one. Uh, the white and blue really looks nice. I actually have that one. So we're going to see a review of that one coming up here shortly. And their third variant that they offer is a black G10 with gold hardware. Got, got your gold pivot, gold clip. And again, these are Samurai version 2.0s. These are the second generation of the Samurai. They had their original one. Um, they look really similar. I do believe the only changes on the 2.0, and I'll cover these the best I can, the pivot. The pivot hardware is a little, uh, little fancied up there. But the main difference here, guys, is two screws on that pocket clip. Keeps it nice and secure. Their first variant, they kind of had the pocket clip milled into the material itself, and they just used a single screw. And while it looked nice, it just didn't function very well. And what happens over time is that clip will end up getting loose and start going left to right on you and just wear things out. Well, Max Hayes figured that out and said, well, let's fix that. And they put a couple screws in there and they fixed it. That's about the only complaint I had with the first version. Really does ride nice in the pocket. It's got gray clip retention. The canvas my card is smooth yet grippy, kind of both at one time. A little bit of everything, if you will. Runs on ball bearings. Everything's nice and smooth. You see no flipper. This one's a, a slim, sleek design, which I can appreciate. Seems there's so many flippers these days, it's tough to pick and choose something without a flipper, especially in the full size range. These are about four and seven eighths closed. They definitely weigh under about five ounces. Your blade's gonna be about three and three quarters inches. Beautiful satin finish there from Max Ace. Liner log design. You kind of see the cutouts there for the relief on the liner. Pretty thick liners on there. Really locks up nice. Looking at about 50% there, and that's well broken in. Just really, really smooth. You can do your drop shutty action all day long if that's what you're into. Even middle finger flick it open. But with these guys, boy. It's just fun fidgeting. All you gotta do is just touch that thumb stud and she'll come flying out. Just really, really a nice design. If you're after something slim, sleek. Takes up very, very, very little room in the pocket. Again, my hands are 
extra large size glove, so take that into account. But just so comfortable. The grooves even in the, uh, let's see if I can get a shot of the grooves in the handle there. Kind of got some finger grooves in there and your fingers will just fit in there and just really meld to that handle. For any type of long-term cutting you're gonna wanna do. You'll see I haven't sharpened this one yet. So it has a factory edge on it. Let's get a shot of how thick that tip is. Look at that steel. It's plenty thick there at the tip. No jimping. Really not needed on this guy. You can kind of see the ceramic ball detent. Actually, I'm not sure if that's ceramic or just regular stainless steel. Really, really good detent, which helps give it that nice flicky action. One more thing to know before we wrap this up, guys, is you can kind of see it has an internal floating stop pin. Um, there's the grooves. You can see where it rides. Let's get her slow open there. There's your floating stop pin. up solid nice and secure every time just a, a real fine knife from max ace i think they did a good one nice job hardware let's do a quick hardware check looks like t8 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 and it looks like even t8 on the pocket clip screws magnificent for those of us that do like to take our knives apart Centering, yeah, we're there. No complaints from this side. Detent, again, fantastic. You saw that good size detent ball in there. Not shaking that one out, but boom, just a nice little flick. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your helpful hints, what you guys want me to do, what you want to see, what you want me to change. Um, always looking to get some more content out there. We'll do, uh, we'll do some more soon. And until next time, guys.